What's up, primates? Coming at y'all with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be um, reacted to some Joe Rogan clips. Uh, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan's my favorite podcaster. Um, he's always talking about interesting topics. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The Joe Rogan experience. Um, that girl. That amazing gymnast who everybody's shitting on. Simone Biles. Yeah, because she just bailed on the Olympics. She's like, I can't take it anymore. I was just reading that she regularly takes um, uh, ADHD medication. And they said... Dude, those ADHD medications are so, like, they're not good for people at all. Like, I had a friend that he said he used to take that like, stuff all the time. And he said it messed him up. Um, definitely not good for your health, mental health too. And that she can no longer take it because in Japan you can't take this stuff. She takes Ritalin. Find out if this is true. Because if that is the case, they said that during the last Olympics, uh, I guess 2016, she took this stuff and she won a bunch of gold medals. Yeah. And now, because. She's regularly on this. Right. This is her medication. And so they're saying she can't because... Japan. 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 So she probably has like a lot of anxiety and um, nerves, especially from competing um, in front of a lot of people. So that's probably why she takes um, ADHD medication or just, you know, to focus. Because I've heard of pro, like... I heard of NFL athletes, they take like ADHD, uh, like, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot, but they take it to, well, basically speed before the game, you know, so they can be more focused. It's, it's illegal to take, uh, whether it's Adderall or Ritalin. I think it's illegal to take those in Japan. So it's weird here. that uh, cultures have their different. Yeah. I mean, you could like buy panties in a vending machine, but you can't take Ritalin. <laughs> I think they're very sensitive to amphetamines because amphetamines and methamphetamines were the reason why the kamikazes were willing to fucking fly their planes right into boats. Like, <laughs> fucking gritting their teeth the whole way. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> That's why Lexus probably does so well because it's like. You uh, I didn't know that mess up at the factory you have to like walk off a plank because of honor they're in the honor. see that's why i like joe rogan just because like he's always uh, i feel like i'm always learning something new you know what i'm saying honor really i'm just i don't know if that's true but it's, <laughs> they don't fuck i've had three lexuses in my life they never break they're so good they're so good i had the, the best yeah. cars so this is from the okay. last olympics Okay, Simone Biles addresses leaked medical records and ADHD misconceptions. U.S. gymnast superstar Simone Biles was in a different kind of spotlight Tuesday after Russian hackers circulated confidential medical reports in the world the anti doping Oh, also, shout out Simone Biles. She's like Belizean. Um, I'm, my mom's from Belize, so got that Belize connection. HC database that showed her use of methylphen... Date, methylphenidate, a stimulant used to treat ADHD. Biles, 19, was forced to publicly address her ADHD and approval of the use of medication after a leak. I have ADHD and I've taken medicine for it since I was a kid. Please know I believe in a clean sport. I've always. Oh, so she's been taking it since she was a kid. Follow the rules and will continue to do so as far as play is critical to. Uh, as fair play is critical to sport. It's very important to me. So she's been on this medication for a long time. But see if you can find that. An article that says she was not allowed. That's crazy that you can compete on those type of drugs. Like, you wouldn't think that I'd be like kind of heinous for your like heart. <laughs> um, but I guess I mean she won a lot of gold medals. To take this ADHD medication in Japan because that's what they were saying. They were saying that during this Olympics they told her she has to get off of it. If that's the case. That would greatly contribute to her anxiety and her mental problems that she's having. Imagine if you're on a medication for last at least five years, right? She's been on it since uh, 
2016, and then all of a sudden they tell you you can't be on it anymore, and you have to compete in the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> and you're used to being on this medication. Yeah. No, the that, fuck? That'll, that'll cause you some strife. But... Th- yeah, it's a, little, it's a little heinous. This could be fishy. Like, they're saying they treat it for ADHD, but what if this is like a drug that makes them, like, super focused? What well, does make you super focused. Super focused. I'm sure it does. So like, that's that's, that's yeah. why they say pitchers can't take it. Right. Like, pitchers want to take Adderall. Right. Yeah. Oh, that, that's what it is, Adderall. Yeah, Adderall makes you so focused. Um, I remember I used to take it in college, you know, to do, like, long essays after procrastinating for the whole week. <laughs> Yeah. And they would, the pitchers used to take uh, greenies, which were right. basically like right. some sort of amphetamines. amphetamines. Yeah. So this could be a similar kind of scandal where the Russian hackers, freaking Russians, uh, you know, the Russians and the Chinese are just like, they're beating us on the online, dude. They're like, they're like Yago and Othello. They're just kind of manipulating us and hacking they are. our shit. But I think about it, it's like... Um, Yanis and uh, what's his name from Slovenia is like the best bat. Uh, everything is like the rest of the world has is beating us in everything. Like look now, like our gymnasts are retiring because they're sad. I don't see. This is what everybody's saying about that girl. I think a thing about that girl is her ADHD medication. Is the best I could find. With yeah, um, I said this in my podcast. Like how you said, how this guy said that. Her, Everyone's beating America. Like America is slowly becoming into a meme, and people in other countries just probably laugh at us. To be honest, it was people discussing that and that. So then I outside looked up Ritalin in Japan. Turns out that currently the only drug used to AD, to treat ADHD that is legal. Still a great country, but it's going downhill fast. Well, in Japan is called. Concerta. While Ritalin is available in Japan to treat sleep disorders, it's not prescribed for ADHD. Imagine giving you speed for sleep disorders. Yeah. <laughs> what? But it's not illegal though, right? Ritalin. It says it. Yeah. Then going into it says it's it, you maybe could get it. It's very hard to get, and then it, she could be not on it because it was hard for her to get a, a TV because Japan rules Trump. What? I wonder what people in like the primitive times use for. I mean, they probably didn't have anything like this. For like, I don't know. Like, what causes mental disorders? I don't know. That's. I think that's what's going on. If you go to, I believe it was uh, Chris Bell's yeah, I Instagram page. Oh, I saw him tweet it, but I think you go to Big Strong Fast. He he on Instagram. I think Chris Bell covered it and is discussing what exactly is happening with that girl. So that's something that people needed to keep taking. So many people are shitting on her online and calling her a coward. It's disgusting. Like, <laughs> idea what's... Yeah, I mean, she has, like, a mental dis- a mental disorder, and she literally has prescribed medication. Like, she's not going to be able to use it. Like, she doesn't want to probably have, like, a mental breakdown or something. Like can't really blame her and I don't get why people are so critical anyway it's like she already won like so many gold medals for the country going on in her head are you supposed she's supposed to play when she's suicidal and she's supposed to play when she's freaking out and she's supposed to do gymnastics when she's literally losing her mind like you, when people get off prescription drugs like Jordan Peterson was fucked up for a whole year when he was trying to get off um, benzodiazepine I don't know what it's like to get off of Ritalin, right. but I would imagine it's not fun. Right, right. Yeah, it's withdrawal. Yeah, and who look, knows? The stuff that that girl has done, I mean, she's the goat by a lot. I mean, she does stuff that's like superhuman. Here it goes. Simone Biles ADHD meds among common drugs banned from Olympics. So Simone Biles has revealed that she has ADHD and takes Ritalin for it. Uh, correction, it was first told Adderall in the articles looked it up, it's Ritalin, very similar, he says, sorry. Uh, she received a ther- therapeutic use exemption for it in 2016 and took home four gold medals in Rio. Fast forward to Tokyo 2020 and Ritalin and Adderall is 100% illegal in Japan under all circumstances, including their... 2016 Olympus was the best, dude, honestly, 2016 was the best year, like, no cap. No cap. Therapeutic use. 
It is unfortunate because I'm sure we'd love to see her compete, but it makes sense that she couldn't focus. That does make sense. See, now, why are we not hearing this? Why am I getting this only from Chris Bell, who, by the way, made an incredible documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster, uh, which is uh, a documentary on steroids, and then uh, another documentary, Prescription Thugs, which is about prescription medication. Great. He does great shit. So I guess at this point, it's either that's true or what Jamie pulled up before is true. Like, we're not sure, because Jamie said in the article he wrote is that it's not illegal. I bet it, it is... might be illegal for competition. Right. It might be illegal as a therapeutic use exemption. You might not be able to get one of those. Right. Whatever Chris is saying. But it's uh, it's a complicated story. It's not. I mean, this girl, she won four gold medals in Rio. She, she's, not like she's, a, she's not a chicken. She's the like, best of all time by, by all people's <laughs> accounts. Aren't they yeah. changing rules because she could do yes. shit that other people can't do? Yeah. She's they, insane. Right? Yeah. She, like, flies through the air. It's incredible. Yeah, there was a video that was uh, describing how... Yeah, I mean, she kind of has, like, I don't know much about gymnastics, but, like, just judging from her, like, build, it's not really surprising that she's, like, the GOAT just because gymnastics, you gotta be able to be, like, super flexible, super, like, bouncy, super, like, being light helps. She's, like, 4'11", like, maybe, like, 98 pounds, but she's, like, all muscle, so it's, like... She has really good genetics for the sport. Oh, they're literally like altering the rules to make what she does less impressive. Right. Or less, uh, the scores less, whatever. I right. I don't follow gymnastics. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. I mean, most people don't until the Olympics. I mean, that, right. that's the thing about Olympic sports. Like, these people, are, that must be a weird come down. Like, you know, the whole world's watching, and then you got to go back to working at uh, Panera Bread. <laughs> yeah. You're just a swimmer or like a shot put guy. Uh -huh. Dang, bro. <laughs> that man went in on them, on pe on them Olympic athletes. But yeah, a lot of them Olympic athletes don't get paid that much at all. Um, pretty sad. Um, I think they should. I mean, I know companies sponsor certain athletes, but yeah, I mean, that's life. Gold. And then you're just back to handing out buzzers. How much money do you make for a shot put? I don't think they make anything from right. the Olympics. You win the Olympics and then then what? Yeah. Just teach shot put to yeah. people that also <laughs> make money? Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience. Alright, that's it. Um, yeah, it's sad to see Simone Biles not be able to compete, but I mean, she already gave us like four or five gold medals, so props to her. You know, chill, go chill out. She's doing good for herself. She's still winning. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be reacting to more Rogan clips just because, like, Rogan is so, his show is so interesting. But yeah, like, share, like, share, subscribe to this video and follow my podcast, The Primal Experience, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that. Um, but yeah, peace out, my niece.